Hey guys, Zach from Primrose Production Music here. Uh, if you saw last week's video, what's in my bass case, this is very similar, but today we're going to be going over what's in my guitar case. Uh, again, for those of you who don't know, I've been primarily a bassist in most of the bands I've been in over the past few years, but recently I started playing guitar in a band. Uh, it's actually one of my old bands. I went, I went back to them. Uh, they found a new bassist, so they had me jump on second guitar. So I said, sure, why not? But yeah, so now we're gonna go over what I have in my guitar case. So, let's check it out. All right, so obviously in my guitar case, we have the guitar, that would be the focal point of the whole thing. Uh, this here is my LTD EC1000. Uh, I love this thing. It's First of all, it's gorgeous, but it sounds incredible no matter what I'm dealing with it. So, yeah, that's the first thing. Uh, you're also gonna notice here, I have these little pieces of foam and that's kind of just the, uh, the way the neck sits on the case. Uh, because it's a Les Paul style body, the, uh, the headstock is kind of slanted really deep. So if I didn't have this foam here, the headstock's kind of resting right on top of this, like right on the back, and I, I don't know, I just don't feel safe with that. Uh, if it took a hard hit, I feel like the headstock would break right off. So I just added a couple pieces of foam here uh, just to give it a little extra lift. Uh, I got a packet of silica gel here. Uh, yeah, that's just keeps some of the moisture down so that the strings don't rust and the hardware doesn't rust and everything like that. Uh, obviously cables. I always have at least two guitar cables. Uh, I usually also have a gig bag that has some extra cables in it, but I always need at least two guitar cables no matter what uh, for my rig. So those are right in the guitar case. Now let's go into the... Uh, little pouch here. We have a tuner. Uh, I have a pedal tuner as well, but it's nice to have a backup just in case, so it's just a little snark tuner. Uh, string winder, string cutter, you know, for changing strings, obviously. Uh, extra speaker cable for hooking up my amplifier. Uh, usually I hook it up with the one that I have in my gig bag but this is just a backup just in case, or if I need to use someone else's amp and someone else's amp isn't working, whatever, it's nice to have extra. Uh, picks, obviously I got a whole bunch of picks. These are Dunlop 2.0 picks, uh, Gator Grip picks, and I got a couple different gauges in here as well. Uh, obviously, extra strings. I usually go for Ernie Ball Power Slinkies uh, with the tuning I'm in. I'm, I sh I'm in standard, so I probably could get away with regular Slinkies, I don't know, because I'm used to playing bass, I guess I just like the thicker string, so I don't know, anything smaller than the uh, 11 gauge is, just feels too small to me. So yeah, Ernie Ball Power Slink is what I use on pretty much all of my guitars, even in standard tuning. Uh, and we have an Allen key here, this is just for, obviously, adjusting the truss rod. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if I had a different guitar in here, I might have a couple different things, like if I had my Strat in here, I'd probably have my Whammy Bar. Uh, different Allen keys for that. But yeah, that's the basis of what's in my guitar case. So there you go, that's what's in my guitar case. Uh, it's a little less than what I usually have in my bass case. But yeah, I don't know, I feel like you could run a guitar DI, but it's not gonna sound as good as a DI bass. So yeah, just kinda maybe bring an extra amp or something just in case. Uh, so yeah, I don't have a DI box in here. But yeah, that's just all the basics of what you should have in your guitar case. And it should cover any scenario. So if you're watching this, you're probably a gigging musician. And if you've been in a band for a while and you guys aren't getting noticed as much as you think you should, I want to give you something that'll help you out. It's my eight steps to getting your band noticed. It's a free PDF guide. Just go to primroseproductionmusic.com slash guide and download it, check it out. And it just goes over everything that your band should be doing in 2020 to get in front of more people. And yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, if you could hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified when your videos come out, hit that like button, it really helps me out. Leave me a comment, tell me what's in your guitar case that I missed and something that you think that's really important that I should have that I don't have in here. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.